Hi guys, my name is Leo Shao, I'm from France. Today I'm gonna test the kit of the Nikon Z6. And today we're gonna do uh, what I love is break dancing. Yeah, I'm gonna record some moves and uh, just gonna make a short video clip, an action clip. First shot, I'm gonna record raw with the Apple ProRes. So I'm gonna use the 4K, so it's gonna be 30 frames per second. So as it's gonna be 30 frames per second, I've just set it the shutter speed to 60 because it's, it's better when you have a multiple of like 30. So in terms of distance, you can see that I wanna record the subject around this distance and I wanted to have the subject always sharp. I'm just gonna increase the aperture to F16. So then it allows me to move back and forth without having the subject getting out of focus. I'm gonna start using my favorite lens, the 405mm 1.4, because I wanna have a big depth of field in the back. So everything's gonna be really blurry in the back because I might shoot like at 1.8 or 2. So I'm gonna try this and I'm also gonna try the automatic tracking. So it's just gonna track the AF tracking as a continuous and automatic, just to be sure that, you know, it's gonna focus on the subject. So on this shot, I'm still gonna do the slow motion. I changed the lens, I used the 20 mm 1.8. So I'm just gonna use the 1.8 to focus on the subject. So the thing is like, because I'm gonna be really low to the floor, I'm just gonna use the automatic uh, autofocus where I'm tapping the subject, it's gonna always track that subject. So I'm just gonna rely on the camera to see how it's gonna turn out. Okay, so on this one, I'm just gonna use and add the electronic VR and also the stabilization uh, because I'm not gonna use the gimbal at this time because I'm gonna be really low and add some dynamic into the moves. So I'm just gonna try this in 4K and also shooting slow motion. So we just arrived to another location and uh, it's a really famous bridge in Paris called the Alexandre de Free Bridge. So I'm gonna use the 20 mm 1.8 because it's a, a wider angle than the 2470. I'm able to also be super sharp, having the aperture wide open at 1.8 to the subject if I want to. But right now, because it's really sunny, I'm already at 100 ISO, 5.6 uh, in terms of aperture. I just uh, the shutter speed to make my exposure correct. And I'm gonna shoot a slow motion move with a trickster uh, called Sando. He's gonna do a move that I can try to capture with a slow motion. So I'm just gonna set my camera to the 1080p with a slow motion with 120 frames per second. So I'm gonna first focusing on him at 1.8. So I know that he's sharp, the background is blurry. If I step back, it's gonna be blurry, but I did it in purpose because what I wanna do is to stop right there and make a shot from back to front. And more I'm getting close to him, more it's gonna be in focus and sharp. So that could be in like a nice effect, you know, a really epic one. So on this shot, I'm just gonna be on the other side of the bridge. And as he's gonna stay at the same distance as I do, I don't need to, to use any autofocus mode. I just need to focus in a single AF. And then once I got him in focus, just gonna follow and keep the same distance between me and him. Yo, it's, uh, it's amazing. 